hi people welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing well welcome to another vlog because apparently you guys really really just want me to be putting out more vlogs than anything else i did put up a poll on my community tab here on youtube and i wanted you guys to really choose what you enjoy the most from me and majority of you prefer family and lifestyle vlogs it's always been like that i have put up polls several times and over 50 percent of you always want vlogs maybe from now henceforth i'll just throw in some personal development tips when i am vlogging because it is something that i really like to talk about the second thing that was voted for was corporate job related content i'll try to create this even though not many people voted for this i want to make sure that in as much as i am creating the content that i enjoy i'm also giving you guys what you like to see the most from me just a little over a month ago i started going back to the gym i've just not had the chance to vlog about it if you've been watching my shorts i'm sure you must have seen some shots of me in the gym i honestly have no concerns as far as my weight is concerned actually i do think i look just fine for my age but i don't want to get so comfortable because with the nature of my job i do sit down for long hours during the day and also i am getting older and i don't want to wake up one day and don't like the way i look i just want exercise to be a part of my lifestyle again usually i eat anything i like and i eat it in moderation so there's actually no need to change what i eat as i'm not looking at starting any new diet or anything like that i just need to be a lot more mindful of the time of the day at which i eat because lately i have picked up some really bad habits like eating very close to bedtime and things like that and also working in an environment where people like to eat a lot of sweet snacks i'm not a sweet tooth at all but i think within the past months that i've been working on days that i go to the office i eat sugar more than i would eat if i was not working in an environment where there are a lot of sweet snacks just lying randomly around and you see people going for one and you know whenever they go for a snack they will always offer you one and sometimes you just find yourself accepting and eating it even when on a normal day you will not shop for snacks and you will not eat them those things actually does build up especially when you are not doing anything at all to get rid of that excess fat and sugar that you have been consuming and before you know it you start putting on weight and when that weight builds up it becomes twice as hard to get rid of it and i don't want to find myself in that position at all i know that weight is easier to gain than it is to lose so i used to go to the gym before now like over a year ago i used to go to the gym but my routine changed at some point and i could not keep up so i had to cancel that mem membership because i was not about to be paying for gym membership without attending after i canceled my gym membership i still tried to somehow stay fit so i downloaded a pedometer app on my phone and i set up some fitness goals on there and my target was to do at least 6,000 steps a day i know that science recommends that you do at least 10,000 steps a day if you want to stay fit on some very active days i can do even 10,000 steps and more but i have been inconsistent even with that 6,000 steps a day so i decided to just go back to the gym so that i can do a little more than just putting in my steps for the day i've just been feeling heavy lately and i want to lose a bit of flesh around my arms it's not bad but i don't want it to get bad before i start working on it so i want to lose a bit of flesh around this area and around my tummy as well so when i go to the gym i focus on exercises that target the arms i want my arms to be a lot firmer and i want my belly to be a lot more toned and look better when i dress up i'm not looking at getting six packs or anything like that as far as the rest of my body is concerned i'm very okay with that i just want to target specific areas of my body my tummy and my arms and just be generally fit sometimes i even go to the gym just to de-stress myself 
usually when i'm stressed sometimes i just put on my gym outfit and i go to the gym work out by the time i come back i feel a lot better i feel a lot lighter and i sleep better on days i'm working from home i go to the gym in the mornings and when i come back i feel great and i start my day on a very light and happy note this gym move for me is purely for fitness and health purposes it's not for content and trust me it's not for aesthetics and none of that in fact i used to exercise even before i became a content creator so you get today is a friday it is almost 3 p.m i'm walking from home and i just wanted to start up this vlog tomorrow is a very busy day for me abigail has her school leavers party tomorrow she has her first graduation if i can call it that <laughs> she's leaving nursery and she's not yet four years old but she'll be leaving nursery she turns four in august and september 4th or 5th she'll be starting reception so i think she'll be like the youngest in reception so she has her small graduation party at her nursery tomorrow i need to take her there between 10 and 12 come back cook for Ni John Frundi's funeral, take the food to the funeral and later after the funeral we have to go for a 50th wedding anniversary that we were invited to months ago. Lucky enough that one ends at 3 a.m. so I can manage to go to the funeral, spend some hours there, come back home, change because I cannot go to a 50th wedding anniversary with the same outfit that i wear to the funeral so i need to go to the funeral come back change my husband will leave the funeral early because he's going to be the mc for that 50th wedding anniversary and i'll come back home later come change and then i'll meet him at the wedding anniversary i'll try to take you guys with me as much as i can let's just see how the vlog goes i hope you get to enjoy every bit of it if you do please give us a huge thumbs up and if you've not yet subscribed to this channel kindly consider joining this my beautiful growing community for more fun wholesome and relatable content and let's go guys let's go ciao i think it's about 10 30 pm and i decided to just prep all the fresh ingredients that i'll use tomorrow to prepare the jello rice that i'll take to Pani john's funeral i'm glad i've gotten this out of the way so that tomorrow i'll not have to rush because whenever i am rushing i get anxious and i don't want that to happen tomorrow i have a lot to do when i wake up on this tray what i have is garlic yellow peppers long sweet peppers i have some leeks celery purple onions fresh ginger fresh tomatoes and i think that's about it as far as the fresh ingredients are concerned i need to go now take a shower and go straight to bed right guys i'll talk to you all tomorrow i'm abigail you're abigail i'm dressing like a princess you're dressing like a princess I'm talking to daddy. And you're talking to daddy. And mommy and Kika and brother. Are and you are you ready for your graduation party? Yay! Let's get you dressed up so we can go, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. I love to win. Come on, wear this. Okay. Wow. I thought you liked it. Yes, daddy likes your dress. It's so cute! Dance, let me see. And... <laughs> Whose baby is this? Is this mommy's baby? Is this mommy's Abigail? Hi! <laughs> Alright, sit. Let me wear your shoes. What? My white shoes? Yes. <gasps> My white shoes? Yeah. Your white princess shoes. Not my blue shoes. It's too small. My, my white shoes. Like them? Yeah. That's how you wear it. Okay. I love it. You love it? Princess love it. Princess loves it. Mm -hmm. They are gorgeous. Alexa. Alexa. Come on. Come on. Don't be a scared, Alexa. I don't know that. Come on. Alexa. 
Did I hear someone asking why I have to put my veggies in here before blending them? I find that it tastes a lot better when you pop your fresh veggies in the oven for some minutes before blending them. I don't do this all the time. Usually when I have to cook for an occasion or when I just 
have the time to do it, I do it. But if you want to try it, you can use your regular oven. I just use this one because my kitchen is under renovations and my oven has been disconnected. Excuse my scruffy voice, guys. I feel like I'm coming up with something. I'm trying to eat as much ginger as possible to fight it before it gets to the level that I'm really uncomfortable with. I'm cooking in two pots, guys. My largest pot does not fit on this induction cup. And the quantity of rice I need to cook, if I don't use two pots, I will have to cook and then empty the pot and cook another batch and I don't have all that time. So. so many different brands of basmati rice but this one is the best it doesn't stick and it tastes great i buy it from the asian stores if you're in the uk you can find this in any asian store or any afro shop highly recommended They are both ready. They are chafing dishes there, so I'll just put it in one big pot and take it to the location. Continue for one and a half miles. On our way to Barney John's funeral. I'm, I'm not late. They say the service starts at seven. The program starts at seven. But because I'm carrying food, I was meant to be there by five thirty. It's six twenty-two. And I'm Cameron still here. style. <laughs> really Cameroon style, but it's all right. Nobody has called me, so I guess they are still trying to set up. I'm on time. I beg. <laughs> I will be right to conclude that he fought a good fight. He completed his race. He has left a legacy. He lived purposefully. When we recognize the significance of our daily experiences, we make effort to live with a purpose. We identify our passions, pursue many goals, and seize opportunities that align with our values. We make intentional choices that ensure that day that each day contributes to a narrative that inspires and empowers those who will come after us. He makes ethical choices. Not only that, but he left behind 
wonderful children. I want all the, these children and their, their spouses to stand. Can they all stand? I want us to give up praise. Anyone who is to come and can you stand? They will give up praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you, when you see these children, you see oneness. Hallelujah. And I will leave you with this word. Regardless of what has happened, keep a cool head. It says, stay alert. It says, the devil is poised to pounce. That is why you must keep a cool head. Because that devil is hiding. And is wanting for you to stay in grief for long. To get to the place of doubt and, and anxiety and fear for a long time. Now it says, keep your guard up. You are not the only ones plunged into these hard times. Amen. Mm -hmm. Look at his face. <laughs> Yesterday was his 40th birthday. And I just want us to celebrate this day with him. He didn't know we were going to do this. So I just want to sing happy birthday to him. So now, can you help me with that, please? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear brother. Happy birthday to you. Israelites wandered for 40 years in the desert and as they work came out, I pray that your days ahead are better in the name of Jesus. Because what you've been wanting to achieve in life, you will achieve in the name of Jesus. Despite the death of your father, and in this time as you're stepping out, you step out bigger, you step out better, you step out greater in the name of Jesus. Your days ahead are better and glorious and wonderful in Jesus' name. Amen. And I know you have land at home. 
and that land is Cameroon. So it will not a problem for you because you have land. To not only move the world, but many world. We know you through Thank you.